take care of a clownfish. Didn't you just love the movie, Finding Nemo? Well, maybe you're ready to take care of your own little lovable Nemo. Here are some handy guidelines for taking care of clownfish. Know more about the clownfish. Clownfish are distinct for their vibrant orange, reddish, yellow, black and white coloring. They are indigenous to tropical waters, and their natural habitats include the Red Sea and the Great Barrier Reef. They can live up to three to five years in captivity, six to ten years in the wild. And did you know that all clownfish are born male? The more dominant of a pair of clownfish will change into a female and serve to protect their pair. Opt for tank bread fish. If you're just starting to look for clownfish for your aquarium, make sure that you buy those that have been tank bred instead of those that were captured from captivity. That's because clownfish born in the wild are most likely to die soon because of the stress brought by capture and shipping. When choosing your clownfish, you should also make sure that it has clear eyes, brightly colored scales, is active and alert, and doesn't have signs of white spots. Finally, make sure that you buy only one species of clownfish, never put two different species of clownfish in one aquarium or else they will fight one another for territory. It's also recommended that you only keep clownfish in groups of two, male and female. Prepare their habitat. This is the biggest investment you will have to make with regards to caring for your clownfish. Buy at least a 25-gallon tank, though a 40-gallon tank is recommended, and keep the temperature between 80 to 84 degrees Fahrenheit. You should also stock the tank with only salt water, about 10 gallons of salt water for every fish. And because it's salt water, you should invest on a high quality filtration system. Keep the pH levels between 8.2 and 8.6. You should attempt to recreate their natural habitat as best as possible. Install live rock, sand, fake plants, and decor, for them to hide in, a submersible heater and gravel siphon. Feed your fish. The good thing about clownfish is that they are not fussy eaters. You could give them flake food, live food, or frozen food, two to three times daily. Do be careful not to overfeed them though. If you see that there are leftovers at the bottom of the tank, you might be feeding them too much. Know the deal about anemones. Clownfish are also known as anemone fish because of their symbiotic or very close association with sea anemones. In the wild, anemones are essential to the clownfish. But in the tank, 
anemones are not necessary. Do know that sea anemones are hard to take care of and they might grow to as big as 3 feet. If you're new at taking care of saltwater fish, consider not buying sea anemones for your clownfish anymore. Taking care of your clownfish will really take commitment and quite some investment, especially with regards to their habitat. But if you're raring to find Nemo, so to speak, just make sure that you know how to take care of him properly.